very good afternoon my name is Alok Shivastava and you are watching Network Nuts YouTube channel so what we are going to learn in this session we are going to learn again the series is same we are continuing with the ed with the AWS certified solutions architect associate level series and in this series we are going to learn about the route 53 latency based routing policy it's very simple stuff and if you have watched the previous video where i had shown you the geolocation based routing policy so based on the same wavelength it's we are uh, trying to understand the latency based routing policy so let's first understand the basic concepts and then we will move on to the dashboard and create the machines and all that stuff so latency based routing policy simply means that Amazon will try to improve the user experience by sending their request to the Amazon region or the AWS region which has got the lowest latency where the request can be fulfilled faster. So to use the latency based routing we need to create the records in multiple regions let's suppose i have a website uh, like the one we use alokshravastava.name so i will have one server hosted in mumbai and say one server hosted in us in north virginia so if the us client will hit so because the latency will be less for the us based client if the request will be catered by the north virginia server so their request will be sent to the nearest uh, resource where the web server is and if the request is coming from India region so the request will be automatically going to the Mumbai server. So when the it's very clearly mentioned here when the route 53 receives a DNS query for your domain it checks that which Amazon region you have created the latency records for and based on that it chooses the best path. It works something like your Google Maps. Say I commute from my office to my home every day, but it Google Map might give me a different route on a particular day based on the traffic condition. So, right? So you should always remember this that latency between the host on internet can change over a time based on the network connectivity and the routing and the traffic. So latency based routing is based on the measurement over a time. So it might happen that suppose I am sending a request to under normal condition, my request will generally be catered by the India region, but it might happen that it might be routed to a different region, say Singapore for next week. So I'm trying to give you an example by a picture. So suppose there is this India user. So under normal condition, the under normal condition right uh, the India server will be able to cater the request much faster as compared to the US server as you can see as an example say it takes 29 milliseconds for the request to reach US but only 9 seconds to reach the India under normal condition so the request will be automatically be uh, routed to the India server whereas in case if the client is from the US obviously because the region is near so the request will be much faster catered by the US server as compared to 50 milliseconds of uh, and, and like uh, a value here right hypothetical value to reach the India so the request will automatically be going to the US region but it might happen that there is a lot of traffic currently right now in the US region and it's it's taking more time so might happen that a US client the request will be routed to India server if AWS founds out that I can reach India server much faster as compared to the US server. So this is how the latency based routing works. Now what we are going to do, we will be straight away jumping onto our dashboard creating two web servers. One I will be creating in US, another I will be creating in India and then we will be uh, configuring a route 53 latency based routing so let's move on to the dashboard
so guys here we are i'm logged in into my dashboard let's go to ec2 fast and i'm in the mumbai region i'll be creating a server here i'll be using the same steps which i had done in while doing the geolocation based routing policy just launch it i'll be using amazon linux ami general purpose will do for me configure here it is uh, i need not worry about the az's just move on to the advanced details and use the boot scripts because i want it to be running fast so just install it yum install stdpd hyphen y and i say echo say mumbai or say india server right call it india region server not very good in html just the basic stuff dub dub html index.html start the service service stdpd start and put it in check config so that it should be available after the reboot that's it i'll copy it because i'll be needing the same code for the us server add the storage 8 gb is good enough for me i can give the tags say name india server right security group you need to make sure that you should allow http and ssh in case you need to do the ssh so i can use the first one allow ssh and http traffic and make sure that the ssh and the http is allowed review and launch and launch if i am dead sure i might need not to use a key pair so let's proceed without a key pair if you are very sure about your boot script that nothing is going wrong and it's going to be running everything is fine the packages will be installed so you can do this but practically you should be using a key pair so i, I just use aws class here perfect let's go to the instance and check it if it is working i'll change the name also running perfect let me change the name i say india server and it's getting it it's running now so i should be able to get the website from here okay meanwhile let it do the boot script jobs so we will go to the north virginia and i will create one more server there so again i will use the launch instance i will be using the same amazon linux ami using the general purpose instance type same i am not worried about the az's copy and paste the stuff here just change it to north virginia or say usa region server add storage rest of the things are same feel free to give the name if you wish not mandatory firewall is mandatory allow ssh and http fair enough launch i'm not sure about the key so i'll just use this i'm not going to do the ssh so just check it if the us or the north virginia server is running i click on here check it give it a name usa server fine meanwhile i'll go to the mumbai and check if i'm able to get my website there so i will just use the public ip practically guys you should always use elastic ip eips if you are running a instance otherwise if you are using the elb then it's fine because uh, the ip the dynamic ip tends to change if in case you need to do a shutdown of the machine yeah india region server fair enough i am able to hit it so i'll go back to the north virginia and i copy this public ip also try this so my boot scripts are running fine yeah usa region server right 
so, th so these are two servers i had intentionally changed the text so that we will be able to find out which machine we are hitting actually now we will go to the route 53 and create a latency based routing policy so let's go there and do the last step and i will be using the same domain name alokshrivastava.name so let's move on to route 53 so here we are we are in the route 53 go to the hosted zone same stuff i'll be using the same domain name alokshrivastava.name and this these are the records which we have created in the previous class when we had used the geolocation so just safely remove these two a records don't try to remove the other one right now i will create a record set the domain name will be same alokshrivastava.name time choose it to 60 seconds and value first india server i copy this and goes here paste it remove strip off the unnecessary text and from here just change latency base routing and then you need to specify which region you are doing so it's in ap south one based on the ip it, it has automatically found out so i say india region right health checks can be associated which i'm not doing right now i will be using and showing you how to use the health checks when we'll be doing the failover based routing policy so i just click on create so this machine is targeted to the client is in region this so now by this record i had explicitly told the amazon that this ip address is hosted in this region now i will copy the usa one copy this go back to route 53 change your timing paste it here simple stuff just make your logic clear and expect a lot of questions in the exams on dns route uh, like the policies so latency again it automatically picks where the machine is so i say is usa server again ignore the health checks and create it so now we have got two resources one is in the ap hyphen south hyphen one which is india region and one is us hyphen east hyphen one which is north virginia so how to check again i will be using my same old trusted nord to uh, have a connection to us so let's try this so i will open my nord here here it is so let me connect so nord is if those who have missed the geolocation based routing uh, video i will highly recommend them to go to go through that video so i am just making a connection to india using nord so feel free to create your account there and use the services which is paid obviously so let's just wait for why and we will be done just wait a while yeah so i'm connected to india so chances are that if i'm connected to india see here i'll just minimize this i open one more tab and i write alok name so chances are that if everything is working fine my dns is populated i will be getting the response from mumbai server wow india region server perfect now let's switch over our connection to us using the nord so i move to us that means i i'll be getting a ip from us region so i go to united states so it's simulating a movement to us because I, now i will be using the nord server in us to hit the site so amazon for amazon the request is coming from us so it's a, a very beautiful way and a very live kind of a environment to see whether all the configuration and the policies and whatever concepts you have learned during the training or in this video are actually working or not so just a while going to us might take time because there is all already uh, restrictions on, on h1b visa <laughs> jokes apart a logical movement is not uh under scrutiny till now right so connected to us so if i just 
refresh this so that means now I am logically in US I just refresh this and check it it should work yeah see here USA region server because of the 60 seconds of uh, the TTL it takes time now I'm from US it's hitting the US server and I when when I goes to India it goes to the India server so that is the latency based routing based on the calculations done by Amazon web services that which resource will be able to answer the request faster but it might happen as I had already told you it might happen that if there is a congestion in the US so the request might be routed to the India region if there is a lot of traffic happening in the US so it solely depends on Amazon web services and the calculations something like Google map so I hope you have liked this video and learned about the latency based routing thank you very much I'll see you again bye bye Godspeed